a third woman has now come forward saying she was groped by Indiana Attorney General Curtis Hill. This time it's a legislative staffer within Hill's own Republican Party. In a statement to News 8 State House Bureau Chief David Williams, she details the night she says she felt stunned. David. She realized that a lot of people are talking about what has happened today, what has transpired when she came forward. Her name is Nikki De Silva. She is a legislative assistant to Republican State Senator Ryan Mishler, and her office sent her this four-page statement that she sent it to us on her behalf. Nikki De Silva says she was at the end of legislative party at a bar near downtown Indianapolis in March when she saw Attorney General Curtis Hill, which surprised her. She says he walked over to where she was with colleagues and told them to get a drink, quote, you got to show a little skin. De Silva says one of her co-workers told her not to leave her alone with Hill, so she put herself between the two as a buffer. Then she says, quote, after a few moments, Attorney General Hill put his hand on my back. I was taken aback by this gesture as we had never held a conversation before that night. I felt his hand start to slide slowly down my back. I didn't want to bring attention to his action, so I tried to push his hand away inconspicuously using my free hand. When our hands met, instead of taking this nudge as a cue to remove his hand from my lower back, he grabbed my hand and moved both of our hands over my butt, lingering there before releasing me. De Silva said in a statement, quote, I felt ashamed and frustrated. It wasn't until May, she says, when she felt like this was being taken seriously by top lawmakers after Democrats say Rob Mara, Candelaria Reardon, filed the first complaint with state House leaders. Reardon, along with another woman, came forward in recent days, too. Today, Reardon sent this statement saying, quote, I am very proud of these brave young women that have found their voice to stand up and declare that power is not consent. Before working in the state legislature, De Silva was student body president at IUPUI, where she worked as an advocate for eradicating sexual violence on college campuses. Late this afternoon, Hill released a statement responding to De Silva's allegations. In it, he says his office got this blind copy of an email from, an acu from the accuser asking a friend in the office for help looking for grammatical errors or perhaps things that needed to be changed or worked on or removed. In the statement, Hill says, quote, it's clear that the integrity of this investigation is compromised. The various stories appear to be coordinated and changed under the direction of others. We believe these emails could be material to an investigation. We would hope that any email sent on state equipment between the accuser and others be preserved and not deleted. You can read the Attorney General's full statement along with Nikki De Silva's on our website, wishtv.com. I'm David Williams, Wish TV News 8.